Welcome to the Statistic NDD YouTube channel. I talked about running R code in parallel using the cluster apply function in a previous video, which I will link to in the description. Today I want to extend on this idea and look specifically at the situation when runtimes of tasks differ considerably and what we can do to deal with that in an efficient way. So I'm loading the parallel package and also the snow package and the bench package for benchmarking. The snow package we usually don't need for parallelization. Most of its code has ended up in the parallel package, as well as code from the older um, multi-core package. It's also part of parallel now, but here we need the snow package for one specific functionality that we don't have in parallel for visualization. You'll see that in a moment. Um, the task I will create is a toy example here for the sake of a quick video. Um, so I generate a random vector of 30 numbers um, with task times to simulate different run times of our tasks. I set up parallelization using the make cluster function and the detect cause function. So I have six calls here, but with hyperthreading ability. So it gives me 12 workers. Leaving one for the operating system gives me 11 workers to use for parallelization. And the task um, is here a simple and spectacular function syssleep, which you might have guessed it puts the system to sleep. And the task time vector determines how long um, to do that. So we have differing task times. And we compare three approaches, lapply, cluster apply, and cluster apply lb. And we'll see in a moment what cluster apply lb means. Here we have some red text in the console. It's not an error message, but the bench package is very explicit about the garbage collector, so that's convenient. Let's look at the runtimes of the three approaches. We have the lapply approach, which runs sequentially, and that took 1.7 seconds. The cluster apply approach took just 300 milliseconds, and the cluster apply lb um, function took 200 milliseconds. So it's clearly faster, and we'll see what the lb stands for in a moment. So now it's time to use the snow.time function, and that was the only reason why we loaded the snow package here to visualize our workers and how they were busy. So the lapply call did not use parallelization at all, so we just have one worker, we see one green bar here, the worker was busy the whole time and ran for um, 1.7 seconds about. Um, but what does the visualization look like for the cluster apply function? We get a numeric summary, but that's not so useful here, we are more interested in the graphic and we look at it here. Um, so the green bars are times when the workers were busy and we see there are substantial gaps between the green bars. So the cluster apply function did not manage to keep all the workers busy all the time, but there were considerable times of idleness. And now you can guess what the cluster apply LB function does. It can deal with this situation a lot better. We look at the chart again um, and here we see a few gaps, but not many. Mostly it's just green bars, so the workers were much more efficiently kept busy using the cluster apply LB approach and there are um, fewer times of idleness and shorter times of idleness. So the master process assigns a new task to each worker as soon as this worker finished um, their previous task, whereas the cluster apply function that we used before waits for all the workers to finish and only then assigns new tasks. So for this situation, the cluster apply LB function is a lot more efficient. So the LB in cluster apply LB stands for load balancing. And I hope that got the idea across very well. I hope you find that useful for your own use cases. Of course, you will um, supplement the sysleep function for your own calculations that probably, hopefully, make more sense than this toy example here. But I think you can relate to how you can um, apply it to your use cases. Yeah, all the best for your projects. That was it for today. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps. All the best. See you soon. Goodbye.